from Parker Rink. Saturday night, hockey night on a Gamis Way. Bernie Corbett, Mark Linehan, glad he could join us here on ESPN Plus as the Terriers get ready for the back end of this hockey weekend series with the Providence College Friars. Now wrapped along Celebrini. Celebrini got bumped by Engelbert, now turns it over. Barad trying to jump through, and a goal from the side of the cage. Lane Hudson for Gavin McCarthy, threaded through go. the middle, and now an opening. Flying in, Zabonet. Zabonet, Rister, and a goal! Zabonet roofs it to the glove side of Spedback, and just like that, speed kills, and the Terriers tie it. Lane walking the line, trying to wrist it. It was blocked. Celebrini gets it back, gives it up to Quinn, oh. saved by Spedback wow. as he tracked that one. Will Lander working the line. Wilmer, 10 seconds left on the power play. Goes far side, Hughes in front. Could not connect. Wilm, 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 the goal, Willander will wrist it home. 55 footer that had eyes. For Rashad, but Rashad played it. Now, springs it up for Adams. Adams with a drop from Malinowski. His shot padded away by Caron. Peterson battles in deep, circles the cage. Looking for options, throws oh. it to the net. Pretty good option there. Yep. Pass was Poisson, gets it back to the middle. Coming down to 10 seconds on the power play. Poisson with a wrist to save by Caron. Oh. Puck is loose, cleared away. Fires follow it up. Save was made, I think, by Peterson. And uh, a scramble, and finally a tie-up by a sprawling Caron who had to dive headlong back. Goes hard there at Chris. Puck back to the point. Lane Hudson off the center point. Lane Hudson wow. shifts away. Lane Hudson centers one. Puck came through. Hughes back here to go! Back in now, Gallagher. And Gallagher will... Oh, I don't know. No icing up. there as Kaplan. Salabrini beat him to it. A chance and a goal! From the far circle on the backhand feed from Macklin Celebrini. Malinowski, Hudson steps up on him. Pucko comes through for a shot squeezed by Caron, and he'll hang on for a faceoff on the wrister by Levin. Off the draw, Green. Help from Stevens. Stevens with a wrister there, blocker saved by Svedbeck. Lane Hudson played to play it back with Stevens, but uh, Stevens was headed to the bench, and Valenti's headed to the net. Valenti, the shot is saved by Caron. Follow up and a goal. Need him. Celebrini pushed it ahead. Yoder, though, gets it back. Yoder turned it over. Lachance. Rister and a goal. Shane Lachance restores the three goal lead. H. Back in. And grabbed by Weber. Weber pushes it out far wing. Weber got all the way to center and uh, couldn't quite get it deep. Now Peterson with time winding down. Peterson will send it flying to the window with time running out here at Parker Rink. The Terriers of Boston University will come away with the upper hand for the weekend in this top 10 hockey's weekend series. They claim four of the six points against the Providence College Friars with one meeting to go between these two on March 7th, which should be very compelling. Uh, I like I like the way we we played tonight. I like the way we started. Uh, even even forget the goal like that. That's going to happen at times. Um, but I, I like the way we were playing. I thought we came out with energy. I thought we were physical. I thought we were getting in the net. I thought we were doing all the things that make us successful as a team. We were playing fast. Last night we were um, playing their game instead of playing our game. And it is tough in their building. But tonight I thought we played our game right from the start. Second period we got away from it a little bit for a little bit of a stretch obviously way too many penalties um six to one uh, it's a it's, i don't know <laughs> but anyway uh, overall i liked our group um lane gets that third goal to give you guys a two-goal lead just how big was that you talked a lot about closing out games and defending. that that was that was a big goal for us because obviously we we're in the box three times i think in the second period and we kind of couldn't really get our momentum going we did for a few shifts there and then uh, that was a big goal for us. And then I really liked the way we played in the third. Like, we had a stretch there. We were all over them. And we just couldn't find a way to, you know, we, we did find a way to end up scoring a couple more. But um, I really liked the way we played. And again, you know, we ended up in the box again in the third. So that, that, that kind of hurt our momentum a little bit. But we did a good job killing penalties. Um, so it was great to see. Well, I just after last night, um, 
after Monday. We've lo we've only won three games in our last uh, eight going into tonight. So I just I wanted to keep the same guys in the lineup, but I wanted to move guys around, and that was really all that went into it. Uh, I know Shane does a really good job of getting around the net. Uh, he's a big body. He's physical. So I think it creates a little bit of space for Macklin. Um, so that was part of the reason. Um, and then some of the other lines, I knew Tuck and Peterson you know, can play physical together. And with Sam Stevens, who's great defensively, I, I don't, I just, we, we thought, talked about this morning as a staff on, on what some of the lines could look like. And um, we juggled them around a little bit, and that's what we come up with. I think it was the way we were playing with the puck and, and just pushing the pace. I think that was part of it. When you push the pace and we have the puck, they're not going to be able to play their game, um, which is throw everything to the net. Uh, I thought that was the reason why. Uh, we, we played our game, not getting into their game. You mentioned goaltending was a positive yesterday. 32 saves for Prime tonight. What do you like of him? I liked his game. They're, they're a difficult team to play because, they, like I said, they throw everything to the net. They get bodies there, so there's a lot of traffic. Um, I thought we, he was really good, you know, fighting through the traffic and, and, and finding the puck. So he was excellent tonight. Um, how's the power play going? Are you going to love the execution yesterday? Well, we only had one and we scored, so I like that. <laughs> so I thought that was great. But I think the big thing is that we, we were getting pucks to the net and uh, Tuck, Tuck had a great screen. And you know, we talked about just getting pucks through, and, and that's what happened on that one. So it was great to see. We were one for one on the power play. He might be the fastest kid in the world. This kid, <laughs> uh, so he can, he can really skate. Like he he has elite speed. Um, he played excellent last night. Played excellent tonight. Um, he he's playing he's playing with desperation. Like the way he's playing right now, and it's great to see. And I, I think the guys fed off it tonight. Not as much last night. I thought he was going all night last night, and tonight I thought he got the group going again. Um, He's been excellent for us, so I'm really happy for him. He's um, he, kid works so hard, and it's nice to see him get rewarded because he, he gets lots of chances. And you know, he's got I think five or six goals now, and I mean he could have probably ten to fifteen. And, and I think right now he's feeling it, so it's great to see for him because he's such a good teammate and good kid. And Jack Hughes had two assists, even though he moves down to the second line. Just what, what have you liked about him? He's been really consistent since the second half started. Um, he's winning more pucks. He, he's um, He's got a really good stick, so I, he, he's very good at creating turnovers. He's very good at getting around the net, so he's been he's been very good for us. So it's, it's good to see. I think now like you can kind of put him anywhere, and, and he's going to help our team. Yeah, you mentioned this a little bit already with Shane. Just what's kind of allowed him to play well with our top two line and down the line and kind of the rest of the league? I just think he, his hockey IQ, he's a really smart player and I think I've said it before he, he can play with anyone he can play, play anywhere in the lineup he knows who he is as a player and that's important um, he, he understands what makes him successful and he does those things when he's out in the ice he, he gets to the net he's very good along the wall um, before he gets the puck he knows what he's going to do with it all these little things that make good hockey players he has all that so it's great to see and, and again he got rewarded tonight because he's a smart player and he, he can finish Thank you. Um, for either of you guys, you always talk about uh, extending leads, second, third period. What changed tonight for you guys to be able to close that one out? Yeah, I think all year we've been talking about, like you said, just making sure we, you know, we we win these games five one, you know, four one instead of you know making them tight three one games, three two games. But I think we did a good job. We had a good mindset going into the third, and you know, obviously we put them away pretty good. Yeah, it feels really good. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I got a lot of breakaway opportunities and, uh, you know, they weren't falling for me earlier this year. So just seeing a couple go in the back of the net, uh, you know, goes a long way. Shane promoted for the first time. So what was it like skating with Matt? 
Yeah, I mean, it's all, they're obviously two really good players, so you know, they, you guys got to know where they're going to be at all times, and obviously they're not, they know where I'm going to be. A, like that pass that Mac made to me, that was unbelievable. Um, you know, I didn't even have to say they knew I was there. So I think it's just a lot of talk with new line mates. Just got to communicate, and I think we did a pretty good job tonight. Um, playing with Kaplan and Wilmer. I mean, two really good players, uh, both really skilled. Uh, both can make like really quick plays. So for me, I think just being available for them, uh, coming under uh, as a center. It was fun tonight. It was fun playing with them. Um, you know, they're obviously really good players. Uh, we had a lot of uh, ozone opportunities, I felt like, and I think we're just going to keep building. Yeah, I think obviously no one was happy with our effort yesterday. Um, you know, it's we we got four games left now, so it's time to it's time to you know set the standard, obviously. And uh, I think we did a, we had a great response tonight, and you know everyone bought in tonight, and that's what we're going to need going forward. Yeah, I mean, he's like I said, he's obviously an unbelievable player. Um, you know, he can find you through any seam. Um, you know, I can I see it on the power play sometimes. You know, I got, I'm, sometimes I'm not ready, and he throws one down there, and you know, it goes by me. So, with a player like that, you always got to be ready. You always have to have your stick down, and luckily, I was ready for that one. No, it was really good. Um, you know, I think we work a lot on it. Obviously, Joe does a great job. Um, Kind of preparing us. Uh, we do a lot of video on their power play and how to shut it down, whether it's their breakouts or um, you know in zone. Uh, we were pressing hard tonight, uh, which was good. So um, to go, uh, you know, kill off all six of those power plays, uh, you know, it means a lot. And I think we're just going to keep building off that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of my identity, just uh, using my speed, uh, kind of just creating uh, chaos for the other team's D uh, on the four check. So I take pride in that, and uh, that's kind of uh, you know a big part of my game. Thanks. Thank you.